friends, it's May and today I am in Pembrokeshire. Every year, Dad and I take on the challenge to cycle hundreds of kilometres or hike up to the top of mountains, but we've been slack for a couple of years. So I've moored up the boat and taken a long weekend to the beautiful Pembrokeshire coast in South Wales. We've got to tackle strong headwinds, broken bikes, freezing temperatures and steep climbs. This should give us the kick up the arse we need. and it's a windy day it's about four degrees here and we are going to be going on an epic bike adventure around the coast <laughs> dad get in there he is <laughs> Dad's old uni pal Paul and his wifey Jules joined us for the first few hours, giving us a local tour of the best spots around the Fishguard area. Full dairy. <laughs> and then there were two. <laughs> Up a stonking hill we go. Push it. Are you ready, Dad? Oh, it does look pretty steep. Oh, God, right after breakfast as well. Oh, whose idea was that? After Dad half fixed his bike with a stick, we descended into our first cove, Abba Castle. Abba meaning mouth of in Welsh. Ah, wrong gear. Oh, God, wrong gear. Oh, no. Oh, dear, wrong gear. Come on, lad. Change. Come on. You got this. Oh, no. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Once we climbed up out of Abercastle, we stumbled across a cute little village with colourful houses and a quiet, calm feeling about the place. And as if God came down and delivered warmth on my boat for 100 years. I literally can't go past a pile of wood now without commenting on it. <laughs> With plenty of daylight to spare, we headed down into Port Gain Harbour for a cuppa and some history. Port Gain Harbour was a hive of industrial activity in the 1900s. 
Bricks were manufactured using waste from the nearby slate quarry and road stone was quarried locally and loaded onto the ships. Stone from Porthgain was used to surface roads all over the UK. We've got about 10k to go. We're all caffeinated up, <laughs> ready to go. It's been raining a bit, we missed it. All right, let's go it, let's do it. <laughs> Again, very lucky, as always, just missed the rain shower. Yes! <laughs> It's end of day one. Got slightly manoeuvred yesterday by Paul and Dad, suggesting that we don't sleep in tents tonight. And I've got to say, I'm really glad that they persuaded me because <laughs> we've just had a warm dinner, a warm shower, and now we are nice and cosy in our little creepy, sort of weird hotel room. And um, yeah, gonna be a cold day tomorrow. So good night's sleep. Dad, don't snore. I won't. Bollocks. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right, you, don't go anywhere. I've got a montage coming up and a beautiful song to go along with it. Good morning. How are you feeling? Sore ass. Not slept so well because I slept next to a ball last night. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's it like cycling on your seat? <laughs> It's like cycling bare arse and a bunch of razors. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Alright, we're on our way to Milford Haven. We've got about another 20 30 miles of quite a lot of ups and downs. The sun is shining. Yes! <laughs> it's freezing, but it's great! <laughs> is every 
challenge of your biking tour and uh, my knees are like no please don't please don't hurt me I don't want to do it <laughs> so I'm listening to my knees <laughs> I'm listening to those knees it's gotta be done one more to go Oi, oi, oi. Oh my gosh, it's nice to sit on something soft. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. If you've made it this far to watch the whole thing, you are a trooper. I hope you enjoyed the whole video. Thank you for watching. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really good. I'm looking forward to the next adventure that Dad and I have together. Um, we try and do one every year, but we're actually going to do five this year. We're going to do five long weekends of biking and hiking and all sorts. So yeah, any suggestions of where to go? Places like Scotland, Lake District, Norfolk, Cornwall and Devon, places like that I really want to see more of. So yeah, I'm really up for your recommendations if you have any. Um, I just want to say a huge, massive thank you to all the people that donated this week. Helen and Alex, Oliver, Nick, Wales, Tracy, thank you so much. Someone donated and didn't leave their name behind. Um, their email address is something like trophy160. Um, and also Fenny as well. Fenny, and I can't pronounce her full name, so I'm going to call you Fenny. Um, so thank you so much for your wonderful donations. You guys are incredible. And I look forward to seeing you next week for another boat-related video. All right, see you then. Ta-ta for now.